Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'll be showing you a method of setting up Arch Linux for gaming so that you can play both native and Windows developed games on your installation. So the first step is to enable the multi-lib repository and the easiest way to get to this is if you open up your file browser, go to your root directory, go to etc and if you scroll down near the bottom there should be a config file called pacman.config. Open that up and at the bottom of this text file you'll find a section where it talks about the repositories. Just make sure that you've uncommented the one here which says multi-lib as well as community, extra and core. Once you've done that, save the file. Type in your password, close that down and then open up a terminal and make sure that your system's up to date which you can do with a single command. That command is sudo pacman space dash capital S Locus Y and Locus U. Type your password. So step two is to install the latest GPU drivers for your hardware. And a great reference for this can be found on the Lutris Wiki page, in particular the page about installing drivers. So what we want to do is go to this page, scroll down about halfway down, you'll find the Arch, Manjara and other Arch derivatives section. And from here you'll notice there's three commands you can type in. And each one of these corresponds to what hardware you've got. So for example, if you've got NVIDIA, it's this first one here. Alternatively, for AMD, it's this one here. And finally, for Intel, it's this one here. So I've got NVIDIA on my system. So I'm going to use the first command. I'll just pop that on top, copy that, and then paste it into the terminal. Press Enter to confirm and type your password. Press Y. And there we go through the motion of installing and updating. Once this process is finished, just reboot your system to apply the settings. So step three is to install Steam and enable Proton. So Steam and Linux will allow you to play native games directly and most Windows developed games using a compatibility layer called Proton. Now Steam can be installed with a single terminal command and that command is sudo pacman space capital S and then lowercase steam or one word. Type your password in then press Y to confirm. So now Steam's installed, all you need to do is run it one time, install the updates, it's usually an update the first time you install it, and then sign into your Steam account. So the first time you, you install Steam and launch it, you'll find that you won't have the option to install very many of your games you've got in your system. In fact, the only ones you'll be able to install are ones that have Linux versions or have been whitelisted as Valve as Proton compatible. However, it is possible to overwrite this behavior and basically allow you to install any game at all and use it with Proton to varying degrees of success. So to enable Proton to work with your entire Steam library, you want to navigate to the top here, go where it says Steam, go to Settings, Steam Play, and make sure you've ticked this option here where it says Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Uh, by default it will now actually choose the experimental version, but just make sure you actually choose a, a release version, which in this case is 5.13-4. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of opening and closing Steam to apply those settings. So on reboot, uh, you'll now be able to install any of the games in your library. So when it comes to compatibility of your games on Linux, I recommend visiting protondb.com as what that will give you is a list of reports for games that people have tried on Linux and basically how, how successful they've been. Uh, I strongly recommend you read the reports themselves of each, each individual game but do take the rating system with a grain of salt, as a lot of the times the rating system may be out of date or it may be based on old information. So for example, if a game didn't work in the past, it may have a bought rating, but now with the latest version of Proton, it may now be working. I mean, the general idea is that assuming that the game in question is not using some form of kernel level anti-cheat, such as EAC or BattleEye, then in theory, the game should run on Linux. So the Valve's Proton build does aim for overall compatibility but sometimes you may need a custom version of Proton for specific game fixes. And one of the best ones available out there is Glorious Egg Rolls Proton GE build. Now the installation process is very straightforward. All you need to do is navigate to the releases on the right hand side. And when that page loads up, scroll down to the bottom of the latest release. And just click on the tar.gs archive folder. Download that to your system. Now once that's done, extract it. As inside there is a Proton GE folder which we'll need later on. So make a copy of this folder, then go to your home, home directory, make sure you enable hidden files, and go to .steam, 
root and in here you want to make a brand new folder called compatibility tools with an s dot d and in here that's where you want to paste the custom version of proton i'm just going to overwrite the one i've already got in there so now if you've already got steam open make sure you close it and reopen it and now when you right click on a game properties you have the option here to force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And as you can see from the list, I can now choose the Proton GE build instead of the default one, which is your 5.13-4. So when it comes to choosing between Valve's Proton and Proton GE, I would recommend using Proton GE, since you tend to find it is more up to date and it has a wider variety of fixes. However, the only disadvantage as such is that since this is a custom version of Proton, it will not automatically update. But that being said, there are scripts available out there that will do that for you. So step four is to install Wine and Lutris. Whereas Steam will cover games that are found inside the Steam ecosystem, Lutris will cover games found outside of the Steam ecosystem. For example, on other platforms such as EA Origin, Blizzard Battle.net and Epic Game Stores. It also supports standalone games such as League of Legends and console emulators. Now the installation process for Lutris is very straightforward. And it only requires you to have Wine installed, which is one of its dependencies. Uh, Wine, just in brief, is a compatibility layer, similar to Proton. But both of them can be installed very simply with a single terminal command. And that terminal command is sudo pacman dash capital S, the word Wine, and then Lutris separated by a space. Okay, so that's now installed. Let's launch Lutris. The general idea with Lutris is that you choose the sources section here for Lutris, search for a game, and then from there download and in execute a Lutris script. So for example, let's search for Diablo 3. Click the install button. And at this point, it is just a matter of clicking, clicking, and then just following what happens. Now, what you'll find is this community created Lutris script will handle the installation. And once the process is completed, just launch the game as normal. Now, I will make a point that the majority of the time, what the script will actually do is download the launcher for the game, and then from within the launcher itself, that's where you'd actually install and launch the game. So with that, you've now successfully set up an Arch Linux installation for gaming, and as such, brings this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.